macOS Sequoia Developer Beta 7 has just been released and in this video I'm simply going to be showing you some of the new features and changes that you need to know. This is not the only update that Apple released today. You can see iOS and iPadOS 18 Beta 7 have just been released and we have macOS 15 Beta 7 like I mentioned and you can see the associated build number with this Beta 7 and it's 24A5327A so it's the second consecutive update for macOS 15 Sequoia Sequoia that ends with an A as previously we had 24A5320A so it's been incremented by 7 but we still retain the letter A meaning that we are very close to the final release and I'll talk on that a little bit more but you can see tvOS 18 beta 7 as well was released today we have vision OS 2 beta 7 that has been released and finally watch OS 11 beta 7 most of these updates I do cover here on the channel so if you want to stay up to date with all these OS releases then definitely do hit like and subscribe so that you don't miss out one of the fixes that this update introduces when it comes to Mac OS 15 Sequoia has to do with custom emojis and stickers that can now be created and used accordingly just like emojis and this is something that was broken before but with this update that has been fixed and resolved and we still retain the newly updated uh, icons as you can see right there something that we used to have on macOS but was previously removed is this pro black wallpaper so previously this had been removed but now after updating you'll be able to see it and I believe this was updated in the previous beta as well now in addition to the default Sequoia Sunrise that we've had for quite a number of betas now you can see there is sequoia morning and they've also added other sonoma wallpapers that you can add and if you scroll around you see sequoia night and if you want to have a quick preview you can download it and then get a preview of it the same also applies if you go to the screensaver section you can see sequoia morning is one that you can set and once you click on it you'll be able to see the loading tab right here but if you want to see the sequoia Koya night then I'll set it here and then if we can preview you can see how it looks right here and it's one of the new wallpapers and screensaver duo that's here let me know if you want the actual files I can always go and find them in macOS and share them using Dropbox or Google files an application that I use on a daily to test macOS betas is this Geekbench 5 and if you open it you can see it reverts to this failed or it automatically quits and you can see this update and the previous one continuously break or break Geekbench 5 on Mac OS 15 Sequoia. Something that was broken that this update fixes has to do with FaceTime to be specific continuity camera with FaceTime so if you enable backgrounds right here you can see how these look and at the same time you have the ability to choose different backgrounds and if you go to this background image section right there you can see that Apple or macOS 15 Sequoia has recently added new backgrounds and here you have different backgrounds that you can choose from Apple Park so if you want to choose this one and pretend like hey you are working at the Apple Park this is something that's cool if you want to go to this um, section here you can be able to see or if you want to be able to see yourself at different Apple campus or the Apple Park different venues you can see it right there and these are actually pretty neat and let me know do they look good is this something you would try in a meeting or is this something that you know doesn't really fit your need but this is how it looks I like the quality I, I have to say that initially when I selected my iPhone 14 Pro continuity camera handoff to the Mac there was a black screen for about five seconds so I thought maybe there was an issue with that but yeah it looks pretty good and I'm happy to say that hey you can see right here, I'm at Apple Park. Now, in iPhone mirroring, unfortunately, you can see that they still haven't enabled us to be able to change the window from large to actual size to small and at the same time you can see the different shortcuts that you have command plus so let me try that on my keyboard command plus it doesn't change and then command zero or O, it doesn't do anything command minus doesn't do anything so you still can change the window size and hopefully Apple resolve this as this is an issue that I've reported multiple times in the feedback assistant application a few applications also got some some updates and you can see them right here so for example Final Cut Pro got a new update that 
just fixes some bugs and issues and you can see all the three points that i mentioned here are bug fixes and at the same time you can see uh, other updates such as imovie these are apple applications that got minor bug fixes and i'll be updating them shortly Another application that received some updates and this one has to do with web base or Safari or even if you're using Chrome as well, you can see that when it comes to the Apple podcast application, now you have the ability to open the app directly so when you click here it will prompt you to open the app but it doesn't end there as apple has launched the apple podcast application on the web and you can see that now this is available apple podcast on the web allows listeners to enjoy full apple podcast experience on any web browser so i'm just demonstrating this using safari so and i'm using a mac but it doesn't always have to be like that you can use chrome and a windows or a google device and and you'll be able to enjoy podcasts as you wish and these are available in different countries and regions and you can always visit this list and see if your country and region is available and what languages in your region are supported and also you can see that here there is different apple podcaster program on your fee so check this out and see if your country or region is supported something that's not good about this update is that currently it still breaks the mail application the apple mail app if you're trying to access your emails using virtual machine then that's not something you are going to be able to do and that has been existing for a couple of betas now hopefully apple is going to resolve that soon now let's talk about when you can expect this update when you open up the calendar application you're going to see what's new in calendar and this has the ability to give you scheduled reminders and you can view create schedules reminders in calendar view your day with all the things you need to get done and when you click continue you come back to your page but you can see here today being august 20th since the previous update that had an a build was released last week as well you can see we are now on a weekly release cycle so in this case i can say that the next beta is expected on the 26th or 27th somewhere between those two dates and it's hard to tell whether that is going to be a release candidate version or if it's going to be a beta 8 it's highly possible it could be a release candidate version since this is the second a build that we've seen if that should be the case then you can expect the rc version on the 27th and then maybe sometimes we do get to see another rc2 then maybe that would be coming out on the third between the second and third and hopefully the official release of mac os 15 sequoia will be released somewhere between september 9th to september 11th so this is the week that i think we might get to see this update but at the same time keep in mind that apple is currently running mac os sequoia 15.0 in beta and mac os sequoia 15.1 in beta so it's going to be interesting to see how things play out there updates or the os's are pretty much identical the only difference is that mac os 15.1 has apple intelligence which mac os 15.0 doesn't have so that's just my quick two cents right here let me know what you think about this video if you liked it hit that like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video pretty soon peace